Good morning. Today is Thursday, uh, September 24th, 2020, uh, and I'm standing outside here in the morning, just outside the Rose Bowl. I want to start a uh, series on uh, basically how we missed it 40 years ago. Uh, this is not about voting Republican or Democrat, and my positions on all that are very clear. Uh, I'm not going to hide it, and I never will. This is about ASM and sports investing and voting in sports investing. So, um, you know, I have, it's come to, you know, life teaches you, right? You look back with new, with new information and, and new insights. Um, I realized growing up in Louisiana that I had uh, benefits that were afforded to, to, to me and my peers in these accelerated programs that we were basically drafted into uh, right from the start. And they put us on a path, a uh, trajectory to, to do things that, that most people don't get unless they can afford it, right? So, you know, that's an advantage that was given to me and, and people like me that we didn't have to pay for. And even in the South, there were, you know, there was a lot of investment, federal funds available to help, um, to, to help fund these special programs. I mean, we had computer labs and things that nobody had uh, back in the very early 80s. I mean, we had an Apple computer lab uh, in our school when, like, and it was a, it was a, a you know, a school for accelerated learning, a, a special high school. You know, we had that when, when nobody had computers in the, around pretty much anywhere. So um, resources were focused on us that were not uh, focused on the rest of the students, the, the, the normal population, the ones without, you know, high IQs and stuff. And the result of that is that, you know, I end up in a place like, look, I didn't design to come here uh, in spite of what anybody thinks. Uh, anybody close to me knows that's not the case. Uh, I would have rather stayed in, in Texas with my with my family. Uh, this is what it took to get ASM kicked off, and and it has done that. But it wasn't a design. But I ended up here, and my my best friend Keith from SpaceX, he also ended up here. So we we had a, a conversation the other night about that. Like how, why are we here? Because you know we didn't we didn't shoot for. I didn't shoot to come here. You know. In Pasadena here, you have JPL over there. You have, you know, Einstein used to live literally right over there. I mean, it's 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 really a, it's an amazing place to be. And so why, right? Well, we got extra benefits that other people did not get. And we didn't pay for those benefits. And I didn't have anything to do with my intelligence and neither did anybody else. I mean, that's your raw mental capacity, right? So. Uh, I would say that our school probably spent 10 times uh, the amount of money on on us that they spent on, on on the regular students. And I don't know if that's such a good idea. I mean, maybe five times as much and or maybe two times or maybe not as much or maybe the same amount. So th these kinds of puzzles, I mean, if we're really going to make a uh, really going to make something out of this and change the world we've got to understand that the politics that we're seeing uh in the country that's a symptom of the problem it's not the actual problem the actual problem is is that the opportunity in the middle of the country where i grew up in the south okay it really is a problem i mean that that's the reaction is 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 frustration and all of that and it's look, it's not ever going to be a person. This whole concept of voting for a person and the problem is solved is just insanity. We have structural problems here that have to be addressed that are not going to be up to a person. So this is not about me becoming president one day. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I, I don't have the temperament and I don't have the desire to be that person or anybody in a public role directly. I, I am interested in strategy and I like to help people get elected that I believe should be, but I'm, I'm too shy for that. I don't want that. I don't want, I'm not chasing that. I'm chasing the issue advocacy of of sports investing, right? And we're in a, you know, and so it's it's vote, really it's voting for yourself by voting for the issue, okay? It's issue advocacy. It's not it's not campaign, uh, or I'm sorry, it's not uh, candidate ad advocacy uh, directed towards me, for example. So I do believe that we're in a critical moment here 
with the big uh, push, which is, <laughs> I'm sure they're very disappointed that they're try having to push this. 2020 was their big year to really cram gambling down everybody's throats and coronavirus has really made a mess out of that. Um, and But they were gonna do it anyway of course, because they've been drooling over this money for 20 years, but we're, we're the only thing stopping that effort. There's nothing else out there. So we have to get loud, okay? We've got to get loud and get this message out there to make the public aware that there is another option, okay? Pervasive sports gambling is not it. And listen, Michael Jordan, I've been a fan of Michael Jordan since I was a little, however long he's been around. It's been a long time. I'm done, okay? If you're gonna take your legacy if you're gonna take your legacy and piss all over it like that and try to make the world a bunch of gambling addicts, anybody that knows you knows you're the biggest problem gambler on the planet, okay? I know this from personal conversations with people that played golf with you. You are, is that what you're gonna do with your legacy? With all of that history, is you're gonna tangle up with a quasi-legal scam that lost a billion dollars and is losing another billion dollars to try to get everybody turned into gambling addicts right in the middle of this pandemic for 100 year pandemic and the black Sox scandal from from i mean it's insanity and the public look they just need to know we're there okay that's the job and the job is to get one single one single raise look i am sure i am sure 100 percent sure that if we get one public fundraise done, that we can get that on the wires. And when we get that on the wires and that becomes a story, especially right now with everything struggling, we will take off like you have never seen us take off. So if you wanna help be part of that, that's what we need. We need to find and, and, and uh, get that first one in the pipe and whatever that takes, if they wanna stand over our shoulders and watch every penny come in and go out whatever that takes to show that it's legit is what we need to drive towards because that is what is going to make sports investing get public uh public relations success which is the key to everything for us we've laid the foundation down i am confident we have the foundation down we need to lay that down and put number one fundraise out and then we're off to the moon i'm telling you so this uh, series is going to be how we missed it 40 years ago. It's a story of my, you know, what happened, my, basically what happened to me because I started off in, in the, really like, it's almost like West Virginia, okay, and, and got here, okay, but it's not ha ha ha, it's, it's okay, so take that story apart and figure out how to get us from where we are now to bridge that gap so that there is opportunity. And look, sports is everywhere. The gam turning everybody into a sports gambler is how you wipe them all out, okay? That's not a plan for growth. Turning everybody into sports investors is a plan for growth. And you can put those, you don't have to be here at the Rose Bowl. You can do that, look, you can be anywhere in the world, okay? There's a book called a One Billion Americans that I, I'm gonna have to read it now. I saw a piece on it. Um, you can you can live in Nevada, you can live in Wyoming, you can live in Tennessee, you can live anywhere because sports not only is it everywhere, but it can be developed anywhere. So thank you for your time. This is part one. I'll record um, episode two soon. Thank you and please stay safe. Bye.